several wonderful lip colors I want to review with you today. These are great colors and great lipsticks for women over 50. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. Well, if you're like me, one of those things that either work well for you or don't are lipsticks and other kinds of lip colors because sometimes they can bleed into the lip line or they don't last all day or you don't like how they smell or they're kind of sticky. So I have a few here today that I'm going to share with you. Let's start with the color I'm wearing. This is Lancome's color design in Haute Nude. It's number 124 and um, this is still available. I actually found it out in an outlet mall at a store that carries, actually they carry current Lancome colors and um, all kinds of makeup. But anyway, I really like this color. It's got kind of a kind of a warm color to it. I was going to say copper, but when I see it on my lips, it has a little bit of a pink. It has some shimmer as well. Uh, just like all their color designs, this works really well for me. It lasts a long time. It doesn't bleed into lip lines. Now I had tried there, and I'm going to mispronounce it. Is it Labsolu? La, La Absolu? One of those that has a little push button to open it. I did not like it. I wanted to like it so badly. I tried it for several times and, you know, it didn't make much of a dent in it. I had bought it from Ulta and they have great return policy. So I returned it to Ulta and I'm going to stick with color design. The next one that I picked up was during the National Lipstick Day or lipstick. It's like a whole week of lipstick and that's from Urban Decay. So I got three colors and I want to demonstrate them to you, but in between off camera, I'm going to clean off my lips and start over. Now this is the one they call Naked. This one has a little bit of pink in it, but of the three that I purchased, it has the most also peachy combination. It's very creamy. I love these lipsticks. These are the Vice lipsticks from Urban Decay. So I have three, so let's try the next one. This one is called Back Talk. It has more pink than the last one, but it's a really muted pink. In fact, there weren't any by the sample or by the tester. So I asked a store employee and they actually found two that were packed away in a drawer. I really like this for a more subtle kind of pink color. The third Urban Decay is called Violate. I hate their names. <laughs> I know, it goes with the brand. This one is definitely pink. It's a cool pink, more of a lilac, really. So when I'm wearing clothes that have more of, I'm going toward the pinks and the mauves, I'm not to be matchy matchy, but you know, I don't wear it when I'm wearing peachy color clothes. So this is, if you like mauve, if you like something that goes more toward purple, with a pink, then you'll like this violet color. In another video I did on Color the World lipsticks, which are mail order online, I bought these four colors and I still really like all of them. They're all very different. This one is quite peach. This one's quite mauve. This one is right in between pink and peach. And this one is a rose color with a shimmer. So this time I bought three others. So the first one I want to demo for you is called Rosé. Now this one is also more of a peach, but I want to show you what it looks like on the lips because it pulls a little more shimmery white. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like with one of the ones I bought last time. So as you see, it's um, quite light. I could get away with it depending on what I'm wearing. Um, might be a little too young looking for me. So what I like to do, I like to pop this one called Wildflower on first. Wildflower, yes. And then put that on top of it. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's the Wildflower. Here's 
very peachy, and I'll actually blot it with a tissue. And then I'll put this one on, the rosé, just as the sun goes behind a cloud. The second color of the world I got is called Surfberry. This is much more pinky, probably brighter these days than I usually wear, but I could get away with it depending what clothes I'm wearing and again, how young or how old I want to look. But I can also pair it with another one, wear this under another color or wear another color and put this on top of it. The third color of the world I got is this one called Tickle Pink. Now you can see it's pretty bright. Ooh. <laughs> Definitely a blue pink. So this one, I well, depending on what you're seeing through the camera, it might look better. But I could also pair it with something. So I'm going to pair it with this one called Pretty in Pink. This is the one that's more of a oh, rose color. I can tone it down a little bit. I don't know. I might experiment with some of my other more nude shades that I have from other brands and see if I like the combination with the pink where the pink shows through just a little bit, but it's not that bright screaming bubblegum pink that it is. I think my favorite color of the world is still this one called Huntress. I think the reason why I like it is because it's that perfect combination of some pink and some peach. It's not too bright and it's great for an everyday color. You can see it's very creamy. I don't know why people are writing comments about Color of the World lipsticks saying they're dry. I've never, none of these have been dry. I have seven of them now. And they've all been, all been good colors. The Tickle Pink is the one that's, the only one that's been bright. But other than that, I've stuck with colors from them that aren't too beige, aren't too bright, aren't too red, aren't too dark. And I've loved every single one of them. The last lipstick I'm going to demo is this Maybelline Color Stay 24 color. Now, um, usually I don't buy these. I've had them in the past and been kind of disappointed, but this one I actually like. So I picked this color that's called All Night Apricot number 240. Now, when you first put it on, it's quite wet, like a lip gloss, but it will dry within a couple minutes. So we'll come back when it's dry and I'm ready for the clear coat. As it dries, it starts to get a little sticky feeling on the lips, and that's when you know you're ready for the other end, which is this clear balm. And the idea is that throughout the day, as your lips get a little dry, that all you have to do is put on a little more of the clear balm. So this does stay pretty much all day. You, Depending on what you eat or drink at lunch, you might need to reapply, but different people have said that they haven't had to reapply and some have. So here's the thing though. At the end of the day, this one can be really hard to get off. All of these that are color state. So they've come up with something called the Super Stay Eraser. And I absolutely love this. In fact, I was using it in between takes for that really bright pink to get that off my lips. So normally I could just take a tissue at the end of the day, lick my lips and wipe off the lip color. So let's try it. There's hardly anything on here. <laughs> Versus the pile of Kleenex that I have sitting next to me from in between takes here for these different things. So there's nothing on here. I still have the color on my lips. So what I'm going to do is take this Super State Eraser, which just looks like a clear balm, and apply it. And then take the tissue again. And it comes off. 
So at the top of the tissue, this is where I tried to take it off the first time and I couldn't. And the second is with the Super Stay Eraser. Isn't that great? I think that even if you're not going to buy any of their Super Stay, Collar Stay colors, but sometimes you wash your face or you, you want to get your lip color off and it's still staying on your lips, I think that this Maybelline Super Stay Eraser is a great thing to just keep handy to get all the last bits of color off of your lips. Now I'm back to my Lancome because that's what I'm going to wear for the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Check out one of my other videos by clicking its image on the right side of your screen and I'll see you in the next video.